Welcome everyone to the last lecture of programming fundamentals that is 107 today we'll be talking about books and references so starting on with the for the fundamental concept i recommend the dummy series books for example programming for dummies c for dummies c++ for dummies python hacking all of them they i think they they actually produce the books for each and every like thing you can think about okay uh, the next is uh, the head first series well they are actually very good at it they'll teach you interactively they are having their own websites where you can i think develop the code test the code they um they are having the the question that usually arises in our mind while doing the code or developing something else um okay but if you really want to become a god of python or c++ or you say ruby i i'll recommend you to go to through the hard way well that's the book book's name called as the learn the python the hard way uh it's i think it's 3.6 version is available on its website now you can you know download the book buy the book from there it's really awesome and one more thing that you can do is to solve the code online i mean like just you know sign up on hacker earth hacker rank or any of the top coder code chef any of the websites and just start solving the problems like they give you a very small little problems to start with which you can easily do and uh, one more thing i want to highlight is just don't follow just one thing i mean like you know you take one book and you follow it for lifelong purpose no that's not the thing you should take you should take each and every book just as a reference if you if you are able to solve your code that's it done you got the knowledge move on the main thing that you learn as you get into the field of programming is that you can actually get a hell lot of knowledge from github and stack overflow and that's what i expect from my viewers to at least sign up on github and make use of stack overflow like whenever you have a problem just uh, search the answer on stack overflow like it's a community where all the worldwide programmers ask for their doubts and all it's a very rich uh, community i should i think you should definitely try it out and finally uh, this is my github account it's sahil verma and this was actually all for this this course so I don't expect you to be a master in any of the programming language yet by the thing that I have told you uh, still but yeah maybe you must be having some of the basic idea how what is programming and how things works now and that's all we'll see you next time thank you